what's up y'all it's your boy lakeem on the bob originator shout out to urban ground tv salute i'm rocking with y'all hello this is tamiko dixon the granddaughter of the blues willie dixon and you're listening to urban grind tv yeah 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 if you don't know it's the boy illinois you call me illy on urban grind tv booth radio yeah yeah this your girl miss breezy and you're watching urban grind tv Yo, it's your boy D Mula. Right now, you're rocking with Urban Grind TV. What's up, y'all? It's your girl K Valentine, and right now, you're tuned in to Urban Grind TV Booth Radio. It's Twan Gabs. You are now watching Urban Grind TV. What's going on with you? This is Jay Shield, CEO. You're now watching Urban Grind TV. Grind like you want. Yo, 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 this your boy, producer Johnny Yayo of Black Wealth Music Group. Just spent sending a special shout out to Urban Grind TV. Definitely check them out. They're the voice of the street. Hey, it's your girl, DJ Gemini Jones, and I want you to check out Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine. What up, what up, what up? It's your big homie, Fiend, Fiend for the money. Bump, bump. You're now tuning into Urban Grind TV. You dig? Yo, what's good, man? Mrex El Guapo, Smokey Studios, Urban Grind TV. I'm here with your boy Visual, yes, sir. recording artist. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? Man, chilling, chilling. Sir. That's good, man. So tell the people, man, you know, um, what you're here for, what you're here pushing, you know, what you got going on right now. So like you mentioned, I'm an artist, man, but the thing I'm really here to talk about is uh, the festival that I got going on with the youth that I work with. It's called the We Are Hip Hop, Hip, we Are Hip Hop Festival, and we do it every year. It's August 5th this year. And basically what we do, man, is I, I teach the teens how to market the, the festival, how to promote the festival, how to brand it, and work the social media on the day of. They book the acts. They had an audition earlier in the year to get all the artists that were actually performing. They chose the talent. They contact the talent. They write the press releases so they do all the legwork man and i'm just there to guide them through the process and um yeah man it's, it's dope we do it we do it every year and it gives not not only opportunities to the teens that are in the program but also artists that are in the chicago area that probably might not be known and might not have an opportunity to perform at a festival word that's dope so you say august 5th is the festival yes sir august 5th is in uh dvorak park that's 1119 cullerton it's in pilsen Okay, cool. So, visual. So, basically, you walking these kids through the life of someone working within the music industry. Exactly, exactly. And, and I'm glad you put it that way because that's exactly what I do. I try to give them different workshops and situations where they might actually be working as, like, let's say an artist manager or, or as an actual artist where, you know, they got to figure out, you know, how to work the social media and how to, like, create a brand and how to create, you know, a situation where an artist has to guide a... Uh, you know, a manager has to guide an artist through the process. So that's that's like one of the workshops I do to show them that and uh, definitely give them the insights, man. And I'm, I'm real raw and real with them, you know. Mm. I try to be, you know, I, I'm there to, to, to care about them and make sure that they have a, a, a great future. But at the same time, man, I'm, I'm just like life with them, you know what I'm saying? I give them the raw truth. I'm not there like babysitting them. I'm there telling them the truth and letting them know what it is because a lot of them, they just don't know how to get it. So I make sure they, they get it. Okay. Okay. So um, tell us more about um, the program that you're working with, with the youth. Like what's it called? You know where you getting your youth from. You know, just let, let us know more about that. Yeah. So the so the program is also called We Are Hip Hop. So the festival is We Are Hip Hop Festival, and the name of the program is We Are Hip Hop. And the teens they come from all over the city, man. The only the only thing they have to do is just got to be enrolled in a CPS high school. That's it. They're enrolled in a CPS high school or about to be like eighth grader going into high school. As long as they're in high school and um, they're from the west side, north side, south side. The program is in Pilsen, so most of our teens that we get they're from the south side, but we do get a lot of west side teens that travel they'll ride bikes they get on on ubers they get on the bus the train whatever it is they gotta do to get out there so um yeah that's the only thing man as long as it's chicago teens we we help them out get them a job and help them uh with job training man so they could be ready for uh, a job once they get out of college or get out of high school and they're ready to get into the workforce now that's dope so um so you are also like a recording artist yes, so you really walking these kids through basically what you do, you know, on a daily basis, man, get the people, let the people know, like what you got going on your music, how you got started, you know, any projects you got coming up. 
Wow, um, man, I've been in the music industry for about 15 plus years. I've been releasing my own music independently since uh, 2002. So I've been in the game a long time, man. And uh, the last project that I dropped was last year. It's called The Ambassador. And it was my first project that I did with all collaborations. So there's uh, different artists on each track. Some, some tracks have two artists, three artists, but every track has a feature. And I have uh, artists, they're all from the Midwest also. So some local Chicago artists. And then I have artists on there from Michigan, artists on there from uh, Indiana artists on there from the West Coast and it's a variety and different production on there as well but uh, like I said I've been dropping music since 2002 I got several albums mixtapes you can find my music on Spotify iTunes got a bunch of videos that are on YouTube and other uh, spots like that and uh, my social media is everything is I see it all I S E T E I T A L L. So, and my website's I see it all.com. You can find me there, you know, link with me, network with me, whatever we're trying to do, man. That's dope. So, visual, I see it all. You said that's the, the social media. Um, and do you got any other projects coming out? Like, you know, I know you're working with uh, the We Are Hip Hop. And you know you got your stuff that you did You said you dropped it last year right Yeah last year's the last project I dropped It's called The Ambassador And right now um, like I've done songs with the teens I've worked with them on songs Some of them don't have experience Most of them don't have experience And I've done stuff like that So like one offs just with them But uh, currently right now man I have a few unreleased projects That I kind of just have in the vault Because I've been doing uh, not only the, the mentoring But also my own business that I have I have a consulting company And an events company And a record label So kind of working more on that And the music kind of took the back burner but I have several unreleased projects. I'll probably drop another project later this year um, and probably a couple projects in 2018. Now that's dope. So it sounds like, man, you got you got a full plate. You got the artists going on. You got the business going on. You giving back to the community, which is definitely a dope thing. Um, is it anything that you would tell like aspiring artists uh, trying to come into the game or trying to, you know, work in the industry? What would you give? In terms of advice to, to a young person trying to come into the industry Man, as far as advice to a young person I would say don't take the advice from the people that you just don't feel right about I took a lot of advice early on from people that I thought were trying to get me to do better But they really weren't, man They were trying to get me to like, I don't know, live their life or live their dream And I realized that no matter how old or young you are Especially when you're younger If you realize that you're going to stick it out and really live the life you want to live. That's really what it's about. And I would tell that. That'd be my main my main advice, man. Just do you. Do what you want to do. And don't everything is going to be easy. Because I think when once it starts getting tough for somebody, that's when they're like, oh, man, this ain't what I want to do. And then they, they go get a job or they go to college or, or something they don't really have their heart in. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, not everybody has to go to college. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go to college. Not everybody has to uh, have a degree. I don't have a degree. But I'm teaching. I got my own business. I pay my own bills. I have no no help from nobody but me and, and my wife and my kids like that's that's what I do you know what I'm saying and, and all I do is I spread out what I got so I was able to do that because that's what I wanted to do man I wanted to teach I wanted to be an artist I wanted to tour the Midwest I wanted to tour the East Coast I wanted to tour France and I did everything I wanted to do because I just kept going man and of course I realized that the the network I had was very important and that's some other advice I would have man whether it's somebody when you meet in high school or somebody that you meet older you're older years in life like just you never know when that person is going to impact you man it might be somebody that you know at 15 that's going to impact you when you're 25 and you never know that you know what i'm saying because they, they might be somewhere in 10 years from the time you knew them that's that's major to you so just keep good relationships man treat people right treat them with respect and let them know where you stand because if you don't let them know where you stand they're going to take advantage or they're going to put you in a position or or put you in a place where you're not feeling comfortable with where your name might be out there in a different way that you're just not you're not about so you always got to let people know where you stand. Right. Super dope, man. Hey, is it anything? I know I asked you if it was something else you wanted to say real quick. Is it anything else you want to say? I just want to give you one more chance. Uh, let Chicago know, man, just anything from you, from visual. Man, what I would tell everybody, man, is don't dream, make plans, man. You know what I'm saying? They always tell you to dream when you're little. Just don't dream. Make plans and make sure that you execute those plans. And like I said, ca catch me at uh, I see it all .com or I see it all on all the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you use, man. Or holler at me. Come see me in Pilsen. Come see me at Sub T on Wednesdays. I do events there um, that I host for my company, Hello Hip Hop. Or find, find Hello Hip Hop. That's my other company, hashtag Hello Hip Hop. HelloHipHop.net is the website. We book artists. We consult artists on their music careers. So if you need um, consulting, you like what I'm talking about, you need consulting, you need some advice, you 
You need to work on your business plans. You need to work on your uh, uh, your royalties, your digital rights, everything. You need to get that in order. Holla at Hello Hip Hop. Holla at me. And um, yeah, that's what's up. Hey, you heard it from the man himself, man. Visual. I appreciate it, man. It's been a very good talk, man. It's your boy M Rex, Smokey Studios, man. Urban Grind TV. Y'all just got blessed with some jewels right here, man. We out. Yo, what's good, y'all? This is Visual. You know what it is. Make sure that you turn into Urban Grind TV. That's the homies right there. Whenever you're on the TV or the Urban Grind, check them out. Circo Universal regresa a Chicago para celebrar su 21 aniversario en Washington Park. Empezando desde el 4 de octubre al 5 de noviembre, puedes disfrutar de espectáculos internacionales desde Cuba, China, Perú, Colombia, Trinidad, Sudáfrica, entre otros países más. Puedes comprar tus boletos por Ticketmaster y sus puntos de venta o en cualquier tienda de Walmart. Así que ven y disfruta de este circo internacional Universal en Washington Park desde el 4 de octubre al 5 de noviembre. Esto es Urban Grain TV y ahí te esperamos. DJ MH Tutter for Urban Grind TV, and I'm here to tell you about the Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine. Go download it right now from UrbanGrindLifestyle.com. It's featuring articles on fashion, music, sports, culture, entertainment, and more. Also, check out my article, One Time for the DJ, featuring my homie DJ J. Illa. Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine, download that right now. OrangeMixtapes.com Hey, what it do? This your boy OJ the Jew, man. I want to give a shout out to OrangeMixtape.com Yeah, what's happening, man? Scott ATL in the building. Shout out to OrangeMixtapes.com OrangeMixtapes.com Young world, what's poppin', man? It's Rocky Diamonds. OrangeMixtapes.com Go get your latest mixtapes, man. Yeah! OrangeMixtapes.com It's the Pride of the East Side, DJ M.H. Tutter, and we're live in Smokey Studios, and I have some of the students from we, the We Are Hip Hop program. Introduce, you guys, introduce yourself, guys. Well, my name is Lanisha, and I'm here trying to promote our festival, We Are Hip Hop, um, and yeah. What's your name? I'm Triana, and yeah, I do promoting, film, all that type of stuff. My name is Akila. I'm on the social media part of the program, so yeah. What does We Are Hip Hop mean to you? Um, it means everything. Like, hip hop is like a part of everybody, I feel like, because it influences, if you believe it or not, it influences everything. And we were just trying to showcase that. How old were you when you fell in love with hip hop? I would say I was like eight years old, just listening to my mom when she used to be in, the, in her room, just listening to me. I was like, Mom, what song that is? And she tell me, and I started listening to it, and it's just like, I just started grooving with, like, the 90s and 80s, and it's like, I just started getting into music, because it's like, it was an art to me. It, like, it expressed something to it. To me, that's what it meant, so. So who your favorite artist? Ooh, I don't even have a favorite artist. Um... Ooh, that's hard. Can I name a lot? You can name a few. I can name a few. Okay. Uh, 21. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not easy. Tupac. Uh, dang. This is not easy. A Boogie. That's just a few. I, I can't even think. It's a whole list. I, I have to pick my whole playlist. I can't even tell you my whole playlist how many it is. But that's just a few. You know, like the main people that's been out uh, recently, but not like, but not X, none of them, not Lil Uzi. I don't like mumble rappers. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. but, oh, wow. Okay. No shade. No shade. No shade. No shade. No shade. <laughs> I get it. So, uh, what is the uh, We Are Hip Hop program? Okay, so pretty much the We Are Hip Hop 
program is basically us preparing and like planning the festival. So what Caesar has done is he's pretty much trained us in like marketing, um, social media, it's pretty much like branding. He's pretty much giving us like essential stuff on basically how to plan anything. So he taught us how, like I said, marketing. So he taught us how to like aim to a certain crowd with social media. He's like, Oh, you got to learn how to schedule something to post at this time, that time. We've just tried like different methods. We've sat and came with different methods to, aim and to reach different types of people all types of people because the the festival is for everybody so the performances that we have they're to each reach all audiences so that's dope so when is the festival and what can people expect from coming to the festival so first the festival is at Dvorak Park that's 1119 West Cullerton Street and basically it's just a variety the artists like you'll expect like I say gospel singers, um, a lot of rap artists, and like it's relatable music. Cause nowadays that's what all generations want. That's what our generation want to listen to. It's like relatable music, like stuff that's going on in our world now, like today. Like you'll hear some like old type '80s music a little bit, but it's mostly like a diverse. So it's like it's trying to get all ages and like all genres. So. That's dope. So now you work the social media, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. So what has you learned from the program that that you feel like can help you uh, long term wise with social media and everything? Um, long term wise, I've learned how to, like she said, reach a certain audience. I've learned how to target certain people that I know will view my work and everything, and you know how to schedule things out basically so I'm not cluttering everything together but I'm not like inconsistent with it. I know how to like stay consistent and everything and make sure like I make sure I like reach people, make sure like I'm out there and you know just learning how to network basically. I love it because y'all sound like y'all gonna be hiring me for festivals and everything. <laughs> so <laughs> it's DJ MH to the Smoky Studios Urban Grind TV. We are hip hop festival. Make sure y'all in the building. Tell them one more time when they go uh, go to the festival. Oh, it's August fifth from one to six p.m. at Dvorak Park, and the address is eleven nineteen West Cullerton. We need to see y'all in the building, Urban Grind TV. We out. Hey, it's Decima. We are here at Urban Grain TV at Smoky Studios, and I'm with these awesome young people right here. Tell me your name. Oh, my name's Noe. My name's Martel. I'm Ariel. My name's Cam. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing great today. So tell me about you. Why are you guys here? Tell everybody what you're doing here. Well, I'm a part of um, the We Are Hip Hop Festival, and we're here to promote our festival. And just get experience on how a radio show is yeah radio show is this your first time on camera yes getting interviewed yes by an awesome person yes <laughs> what about you what do you do in the we are hip-hop festival well pretty much what i do is i work on social media so i pretty much i go on facebook and then i would put up like posters or pictures that we take for the festival i put them up on the facebook page for we are hip-hop and then i would uh like kind of plan it out like which posts go on what date you know yeah stuff like that is that like a lot of work like planning it out no it's not it's not it's really it's really easy because you're a professional i got it <laughs> what about you we are hip-hop festival what's your name and title no i already know your name oh okay <laughs> so we're basically like walking around like neighborhoods and passing out flyers posters like asking if we can promote our festival like with their permission basically and yeah, so we're having artists there, breakdancing battles and stuff like that. Oh, that is awesome. Do you break dance? No. <laughs> do you do any kind of performance? Does band count? <laughs> band totally counts. What do you play? Oh, uh, I play the clarinet. Me too. Whoa, we got something in common. That's awesome. Do you love it? Yes. It's the best instrument ever. It is. I don't like the flute. Me either. I, I know. Like, I can't stand like this. <laughs> That's awesome. What about you over here? Um, so basically, I just take pictures of all the work that we do. You know, like she said, passing uh, passing flyers out, posting up posters on different stores, and you know, I just take pictures, make it look good, and yeah. So you take the pictures. Do you ever take selfies of yourself somewhere in between? Uh, well, not really, cause well, I do got a couple pictures of Noe. You know, he got um, weird pictures and all that, just being next to posters. All right, and how long have you guys been working together? Um, for like four weeks, I think. 
um, which is not like it, it passed by really fast. Um, a lot of days we or like the first week it was only like two days, and then the next couple weeks we had some missing days. I was gone for a couple of days as well, but yeah. Now tell me about the We Are Hip Hop Festival. Um, what makes it different from any other festival here in Chicago? Uh, well, this is my first time ever, you know, doing this, so. I haven't been to lots, a lot of concerts and all that, but I mean. It's probably the fact that you're a part of the team, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're lucky to have you. I can feel it. They're really, really lucky. All right. So tell us, when is the festival? What can we expect at the festival and the location? Um, okay. So the festival is August 5th. Um, it's on a Saturday. It's, it's 1 to 6 p.m. And it's at the Vork Park. And it's like behind the park ish, like in the back. But yeah, and you will expect like graffiti battles, uh, break dancing battles, and some artists that we chose personally that performed for us to audition for it. And yeah, that's about it. And it should be like booths of like other sponsors and vineyard uh, sponsors and vendors and like other people. But yeah. All right. So, are any of you performing that day? Yes, you are, because you're in charge of the whole thing, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I wish I was performing, but I'm not like a hip hop artist or anything. I mean, I play guitar. I mean, I've been trying to learn how to play piano, but no, not a hip hop artist at all. That's awesome. You're totally going to be performing because you're in charge of the whole thing. So I'm pretty excited. I might just drop by to check you guys out because that sounds really interesting. Thank you so much. W hope to see you too. <laughs> now, where can we follow you or more information on the festival? Yeah, um, we got a whole Instagram phase and all that um and the facebook and uh, um snapchat i don't know i'll tell i'll tell you all that our instagram is we are hip hop festival all together no uppercase no all lowercase and uh our snapchat i think she got it because they post pictures on snapchat and all i just handle instagram and yeah i think i think it'd be the same thing for snapchat all right so snapchat you know snapchat yeah the yeah, the Snapchat is WRHHF. It's the abbreviations for We Are Hip Hop Festival. It's so easy instead of writing the whole thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for being with us today, and we wish you the best of luck at your festival. I will definitely be seeing you there, by the way, just so you know. All right, so thank you so much. This is Urban Grind TV. Well, it's that time of year again. Universe Soul Circus time. Universe Soul Circus performs at Washington Park October 4th through November 5th. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com, Walmart, and all Ticketmaster outlets. Incredible acts from around the world. World-class performers from Cuba, China, Trinidad, Tobago, South Africa, Colombia, and many other countries. Universe Soul Circus is truly a global experience. Universe Soul Circus first appearance was in 1996, making this its 21st year right here in Chicago. From all of us at Urban Grind TV, we'll see you at the circuit. We're still at it, Archive Duplication Company, where we have no setup fee, unlimited colors, and shirts as low as $3. And now you can get your own customized bling design. Visit our website today at www.archivedupe.com or call us at 708-223-4167. Get burned. Are you looking for a licensed, experienced, and reliable plumber? Finding the right plumber for your needs can be a challenge. We understand that plumbing issues are a major inconvenience. We are a full-service residential and commercial plumbing company offering 24-hour emergency service with a quick response to your call. Our services include sewer cleaning and repairs, drain stoppages, 
repiping, and much more. We get the job done with the highest quality from qualified professionals. We pride ourselves on customer service. Our expertise is your peace of mind for a job well done. Call us today for all your plumbing needs. Welcome back. You're watching Urban Crane TV. We are here at Smokey Studios, and I'm Destin. I'm here with Sandy Red. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. So tell us, um, what do you do exactly? Well, I am a singer, a songwriter, an actress, a performing arts instructor, a uh, dancer. Uh, I can keep going. <laughs> a long list. Everything. A long list, yes. All right. And which one is your favorite, or which one do you enjoy the most? Singing is definitely my number one passion. I couldn't live without it. Everything else sort of falls close second right up underneath it. All right. And then how did, how did the singing start? My mom actually taught me and my brothers and sisters how to sing. And we actually grew up as her background singers. So um, from there, the, the, the passion grew. And she continued to get us shows booked underneath her. Um, yeah, so that's how I started. Who's your mom? My mom's name is Margaret Owens Bussy. Yeah. So. Where would you guys be? Where would you perform? Well, we were doing like different local things, like uh, from your um, like barbecues, your uh, school events, your um, uh, anything like weddings, funerals, all that kind of stuff. So we we were around locally. So that's awesome. So she kind of had you and was like, "You're going to be my backup singer." Oh yeah, we were definitely her protege. So yeah, she she taught us very well. That's awesome. And now you're doing your own thing. Absolutely. And how do you feel about that? You know, like, why, why do you love doing it? It feels good continuing in my mother's legacy. I mean, to be able to show people that uh, the gift that she gave to us is something that we're actually utilizing for a purpose. It, it feels really good. All right. And then tell me about this album you're going to drop. Yes, it is called Red Fever. Come on. Yes. <laughs> it is actually dropping at my EP release concert next weekend, August 4th and 5th. Um, on that Friday and Saturday So I mean it's uh, The epitome of rock soul That people haven't heard In a while and they definitely ain't heard it You know from my uh, Previous uh, project So they're in for a treat So you're experiencing this whole new genre Absolutely it's something that I battled with for a long time because I'm also A songwriter so um, it's something that, you know, because I can write all genres of music, I'm just like, well, I can do anything. So I want anything on my album. But every time I perform, I have this soul vibe with this rock energy. And so it's like it's, it's sort of birthed into that for me to actually recognize it. All right. And how, what were you singing before? Is, has that transition been difficult or like challenging? Not at all, because it's always had that feel. No matter what I've sang, I have a naturally raspy voice. You know, so people all always say, oh, you're a soul singer, you know. So, you know, but the, the energy that I put out on stage always has that rock energy. So it sort of goes hand in hand. All right. And then tell me, so you have your EP concert coming up. Any other show coming up? Well, I do. I, I actually have my Bird Babies show coming up. I, um, I founded a company called the Mama's Birds Youth Organization about seven years ago. And we teach kids how to sing, dance, act, song, write, take them to the studio, give them photo shoots and all of that kind of stuff, celebrity guests. And we have a finale showcase tomorrow night. So they'll be performing and I'll be working behind the scenes on their behalf. <laughs> all right. And what kind of uh, age group do you work with? We work from six to 18. Is that challenging? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At times, because, of course, kids are going to be kids, but they always come through and show out. So, And do you have them work together based on their age group, or it doesn't matter? Is it based on their interests? The classes are based on age groups, so we separate the younger ones from the older ones. But as far as the interest goes, we don't give the parents or the kids a choice as to what they want to uh, touch on because we feel like every facet of performing arts helps to enhance the other so we want to give them every piece of it to be able to become that triple threat or become more marketable in their own careers and is that why you do all that you do oh absolutely how did that go do you know like the order of which you started like singing was first I'm assuming and then singing was definitely first I've always had I've always thought I could dance right and, you know, I always say I can fake it real good, and I still can. So I say I'm a dancer, but not, uh, you know, if you put me up against a real one, I, I don't know. 
<laughs> and you know the songwriting was always natural everything sort of was always natural as a little girl but singing was always first all right and then tell me about your program so you said you funded that seven years ago right and what made you do that well um my mom actually wanted to start a school she used to teach us and our friends how to sing and put together programs and all of that and unfortunately she couldn't continue with it because she passed away from cancer back in 06 and she used to call all of us her little bird babies mama's birds so the program is birthed in her honor and so we do it every year and honor her at every finale showcase and so that's where it came from now, do you work with your siblings on that? Yes, I do. I have a couple of my sisters and brothers that actually come in and are fully active in helping out with the effort. And he says, where can we get more information of your program if we were interested? Well, everything about uh, my program, all things Mama's Birds, Sandy Red, everything can be accessed through my website, sandyred.com, and that's red with two Ds. Yes, that's awesome. All right, anything else that you want to let us know about you that you think the audience should know? Absolutely. Any of our Atlanta listeners, I'll be there this coming Friday, June, July, excuse me, July 28th, opening for Angie Stone for the All White Linen Affair, brought to you by Hank Stewart. You can Google that. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a great show. That's awesome. And lastly, where can we find you on social media? All of my social media is Sandy Red Music. And then again, you can actually go through. Um, you can actually go through my website, sandyred.com, to access my social media. And even for tickets to my concert next weekend, you can access that through my uh, website as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us tonight. And it was great having you. You're watching Urban Grind TV. This is your girl, Sandy Red, and you are watching Urban Grind TV. Circo Universal regresa a Chicago para celebrar su 21 aniversario en Washington Park. Empezando desde el 4 de octubre al 5 de noviembre, puedes disfrutar de espectáculos internacionales desde Cuba, China, Perú, Colombia, Trinidad, Sudáfrica, entre otros países más. Puedes comprar tus boletos por Ticketmaster y sus puntos de venta o en cualquier tienda de Walmart. Así que ven y disfruta de este circo internacional Universal en Washington Park desde el 4 de octubre al 5 de noviembre. Esto es Urban Grind TV y ahí te esperamos. DJ MH Twitter for Urban Grind TV, and I'm here to tell you about the Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine. Go download it right now from UrbanGrindLifestyle.com. It's featuring articles on fashion, music, sports, culture, entertainment, and more. Also, check out my article, One Time for the DJ, featuring my homie DJ J. Illa. Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine, download that right now. Proud of the East Side DJ MH Tudor, and I'm here to tell you about my new show, The Booth Radio, on 103.7 The Beat every Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Go to the website or download the 103.7 The Beat mobile app to check us out. We are Urban Grinding. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Rusty Blade, here at Smokey Studios. And we got family with us, because every time we see Mary going on strong five, six, seven years, everywhere I go, she be in the place. Welcome, Mary, once again. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're always welcome. Now, it must be that time again, Global Mix. Tell us what's going on with Global Mix. Well, this year, we are celebrating our 11th global mixed music and film forum it is going to be off the chain new location new keynote speaker panelists i mean we're really moving forward to make this a stellar event now i know sometimes you can't tell who's going to be there you be trying to keep it on the rats but yeah well we can name drop because we know there's some tailgaters that are doing things same weekend 
They want to tailgate. It's all right. That's why we do what we do is to make sure that we have that environment so people can have choices and they can have options. So we're at the Illinois Institute of Art. And that is uh, located in the Apparel Mart, which is connected to the Merchandise Mart. But Illinois Institute of Art has always been very, uh, very good with nurturing and, and grooming some of the best people in fashion and animation and in design. Uh, also in audio technology now. So they do a lot of things on the music side. And so when they brought what they wanted to do with us, it was a perfect fit. You know, we were the last two years at SAE and we love SAE and what they've done and and the partnerships that we've had with them. But we also want to switch it up and make sure that we collaborate with so many other resources in our backyard and in our city. Not only that, but we have people that come in from outside of the marketplace and we want to showcase what what we're about as a city, but also other students and the talent that they that they, they they can pull from that pool that they see. So. You know, outside of the Illinois Institute of Art students, they're going to also be people that we're welcoming that have that interest. The first day is Saturday, August 19th. So we're going to have film, workshops, uh, acting. Uh, Jossie uh, Harris is going to be our actor's workshop cur- you know, curator. She did a great job last year. And we have so many other different professionals from that field. We are in a marketplace where now you have Cinespace. You have mostly all the Dick Wolf Chicago uh, signature shows. You have Empire. You have The New Shy, which is executive produced by Common. And Lena Wade is the screen uh, uh, writer and creator of that from Dear White People. So you have all these amazing shows. And so you want to make sure you have that platform to prepare people to know what they need to do to break into the business. So we're doing that. And then, of course, on Sunday, August 20th, we have the music forum. Same thing in the lab sessions. We have hair on tracks. Been one on the sound, on the songwriting and vocal arrangement. We have, of course, our returning beautiful people like Steve Silk Hurley and DJ Skip. And then we have uh, Serge Duran, who is really no ID's right hand. And he's the senior VP of A&R at Priority. So he's going to actually be curating the song critique session that's going to take place. And, of course, we got Sluggo being a part of that. And we have all these amazing people. Tricky from Tricky Business. He's a superb manager in across the board so we got our people from st louis our people from atlanta coming in to really partake in what we're doing and of course we get people from other markets so i'm excited and last but not least our keynote music uh speaker is going to be twister gmg entertainment so they are really uh looking at the importance of bringing on more young talent with this new release that he dropped crook county it really showcases uh, a diversity of of the city and music. He's gotten young guys on the west side, the south side, and with this whole project, he felt, you know what, we need to really talk about my journey and how I got here and, and the things and the mistakes that all of us have made along the way. And I want him to be that keynote this year. So all of that wrap, wrapped up into one, you know, was presented by our main sponsor, ComEd. So third year for ComEd coming on board and recognizing the importance of nurturing not only some of the younger people in their STEM programs, but, you know, the older ones, the adults, the millennials, even the ones that are kind of in between that are still trying to network and cultivate the arts in our city. So I'm excited. Wow. That was a mouthful. Like, it's so much that you can talk about. When you talk about the music seminar as well as the other parts. Now, 11 years strong, and I know last time I told everybody this is Diamond and Rough in the City, period. She talked about her love for music and everything else. Every year we have her on, it's always a pleasure. What? How can you get involved with Global Mix? I'm going to ask that. One of the things that the, that people make a mistake of, we've, we've really done a great job, I would say over the last 13 years of our brand being out there and people go, yeah, I heard a global mix or at some point in the beginning they attended a global mix or they met someone that they, that they had always wanted to meet. And somehow they really have built that resource from global mix to take their career to the next level. And so we accomplish our goal. 
And so what we're finding is we have people that know, they know the brand, they've heard of it, but they need to make the next step. Go online, go to Global Mix with 2 X's, music.com and register. You know, there are passes still available. They're very reasonable compared to other major conferences. It is worth, worth the investment. It is truly worth the investment because we have a speed mentoring session going on for both days where you literally sit across from someone who has been in the business in all aspects and you're asking them any question you want for five minutes and you rotate to another person. And so who gets that? And then on top of that, you're getting advice and you're getting one-on-one interaction with people that you may have difficulty getting on the phone otherwise or you may have to fly outside of chicago and hit la or new york or atlanta or miami or houston to get that nurturing so we're offering that and we continue to offer that at such a low reasonable rate even students have a special discounted rate so i ask people go online be there be productive our theme is design your destiny because it's up to you you know you have to go ahead and find a way to make things happen you can't wait around and say okay well I think it's just going to go because I got my my video up on YouTube or I got so many followers going on Instagram and on Twitter and I'm I'm good oh yeah and the latest Snapchat it's about relationships at the end of the day it's great to have that social digital reach there we go Chicago in fact train (laughs) so you have to have those relationships so we present that platform to also teach even younger people to all ages too. be social be interactive carry a conversation i see your team over there they're all in their in their handhelds <laughs> because and it's all right because that's kind of where our society is right now is that if you're not connected to your your handheld device whether it's an iphone or or an android then you're missing out. But what happens is that you miss out on the most important thing. And that is that relationship, that interaction, that one-on-one, that can I hear the tone of her voice? Is she really real? Let me look at the expression in their eyes. Are they serious? Are they lying? What's going on? Did, did, did I impress her? Did I impress him? Did they feel how serious I am? You can't tell that through a text sometimes. You can't tell that on a Facebook or Instagram sometimes. But if you're sitting across with somebody who you know all you have is 30 seconds to impress, you will find deep down inside how much emotion and how how real you are just through your demeanor. So we want Global Mix to kind of be that background of cultivating that, that emotion, that interaction. So go online, once again, Global Mix with 2 xsmusiccom If you have to come and purchase a ticket, I'm going to give you my phone number. All right? We're going to do a Jimmy Buff. Wow. 312-772-MIX with two X's. 312-772-6499. Ask for Mary. I will pick up for you. You do that, I will make sure that I will deliver your tickets to you directly. Do not delay. That's how serious I am about making sure that you get in on the 11th Global Mixed Music and Film Forum. It is so imperative that we continue knowing the business. It's one thing to know about talent, one thing to be in the studio. But if you don't know how to read your contracts, if you don't know how to calculate what you have in your accounting, if you don't know how to file your taxes on time, if you don't know what licensing means while making money while you sleep, you need to be right here. You need to be up in this spot if you don't know how to distribute your film if you don't know what live streaming services are if you don't know the language you need to be here if you are an up-and-coming fashion designer and you don't know how to style someone in film television theater or music videos you need to be here all this is going to be taking place that weekend august 19th and august 20th be there global mix is trying to teach you the honing skills that you already have Go in and be a part of something that's great. 11 years, and it's going on strong. You need to be a part of it. If you've missed out, this is your chance to see something that is greater than you. <laughs> All right. Where can they reach you on social media? Man, she gave you a phone number. Like, it's, it's, it's blowing my mind. She gave you her phone number. Now, where can they reach you on social media if they want to be a part of Global Me? Uh, 
I know you got tongue twisters going on right now. So on Facebook, it's Global Mix, just Global Mix, two X's. And of course, on Instagram, it's Global Mix Music. And then on Twitter, it's just Global Mix, two X's. So always remember, we're a double X. We're a double X uh, organization. We have not gotten to triple X yet, but. Mm. That's right. Smokey Studios, Urban Grind TV, we out. Hi, my name is Mary Datcher. I'm the executive director and founder of the Global Mixed Music and Film Forum, and you're tuned in to Urban Grind TV, baby, right here. Well, it's that time of year again. Universe Soul Circus time. Universe Soul Circus performs at Washington Park October 4th through November 5th. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com, Walmart, and all Ticketmaster outlets. Incredible acts from around the world. World-class performers from Cuba, China, Trinidad, Tobago, South Africa, Colombia, and many other countries. Universe Soul Circus is truly a global experience. Universe Soul Circus first appearance was in 1996, making this its 21st year right here in Chicago. From all of us at Urban Grind TV, we'll see you at the circus. archive duplication company where we have no setup fee unlimited colors and shirts as low as three dollars and now you can get your own customized bling design visit our website today at www.archivedupe.com or call us at 708-223-4167 get burned M M H Tuda. Chicago Police Department recovers more guns combined in the city of Los Angeles and New York, combined. It's not because we're better than them. It's because we have too many guns out here on the streets of Chicago. Listen, the majority of your police officers are professional, respectful, and treat people fairly. Every community I go to, they don't say we don't want the police. What they say is we want them to be professional, respectful and treat us fair. They are going to do that. That's a small segment of the police department that wants to engage in inappropriate behavior. I got that. Don't worry about that. But what I will say to you is this. So now after we fix that, how do we fix what's going on in the black community? Well, we fix it together. So I need parents to be parents. Father Mike must have been in my head when he was talking. Because he's absolutely right. Take back your house, take back your block, take back your neighborhood, take back your community, and we take back our city. It's as simple as that. Man, put your hands up if you love living. If you're doing it for everybody that, that passed away, man, all the shorties that got rocked, put your hands up. If you believe you're a king or a queen, put your hands up. If you don't need nobody to validate you, put your hands up, man. Chicago has been murder capital several times right. in the 90s. The only difference of it today is because today, now they actually speak more about it. And the news propaganda. is coverage right? Cut the coverage. It's propaganda. At first, and back in the nineties, it used to be homies used to get killed in the neighborhoods yeah. and they wouldn't even they wouldn't even make, make the, news. the news. Exactly. Exactly. Now 
everybody that gets killed make the news because it's building it's building our ratings let's talk about it let's talk about it more we just really want people to watch our news station all they do is take the money while the grassroots organizations suffer. We are continuing to suffer. These brothers and sisters that can come out here, that can help solve some of this, prevent some of this violence, cannot without the resources because we don't have them. And all they do is talk about, we for the people. If you for the people, let us see you out on the streets. Let us see you roll up your sleeve and get dirty. Let us see you go out there and try to make some amends. Let them see you out there on the corners praying like you're supposed to be praying. Let us see you open the doors to the church and ask for these young men to come in. Let's help find them some jobs. Let's help find them some housing. Let's help find them some clothing. If you so, if you're a true man of God, you would do this. If not, we will, we will expose you for the people that you are. Crazy how warm it is tonight, man. <laughs> Yo, what up? So what a lot of people don't know is uh, one of the main reasons I started DJing is because on this day, January 14th, in 2004, I lost my little brother, Frank. That's the piece, little Frank. So um, one night when one of my friends, we was out at a friend of ours, her grandfather passed, so we went to the memorial. and. Um, I got a call that late night, like, yo, you gotta come home, your brother got shot. So, me and my friend, we jump in the car, do 100 miles per hour, riding down the street, get pulled over, everything, get here, ambulance pulling off. I heard, he, they told me he got shot in the leg, so, you know, we laughed at it like it was a joke, like, this fool get shot in the leg, what he out here doing, you know. Um, we, we get my mom, we speed down to the hospital, and they pronounce him dead. And where we at right now is the actual spot that he took his last breath at. Like, he got shot in the leg. He, uh, in a botched robbery, a guy and a girl tried to rob him. And he got shot in the butt, actually. And it hit a main artery in his leg, and he bled to death. That was 12 years ago today. And what's funny about that is tonight, I have to DJ at Reds, which is a block away from where we was living. We was living right here. 1501 East 69th place, third floor, me, my mom, four brothers, and five cousins. It was 10 of us in the four bedroom. Crazy, I know, but you know, um, Reds used to be the place to be. And so tonight, I um, was honored to DJ there. And when it, it, it's like God aligned the stars for me tonight because my brother passed here 12 years ago. I used to live right here. And now I'm DJing at, at, at Reds, like a block away from where he passed at. So I feel like tonight God telling me, yo, turn up one time for him. You know, he, we got to celebrate him. So we're going to do that. DJ MH Tudor, let's go. It's the pride of the East Side, baby. Oh, it's love and power. It's the pride of the East Side, baby. I look in the clouds, hope you pass the sun. Hope you right next to God and he calling you son. Taking you in, angels breaking you in This is heaven and no longer do you have to sin And may God bless your mom and your two children Your wife, your family, and all your friends Everybody Oh man, there's so many memories about him that I could, you know, talk about But one of the, one of the fondest memories I got of him is just his heart, man He had, he was all of five, five And I might be giving him an inch or two but you would think this guy was seven foot, the way he walked around, like the way he talked trash and the way he, you know, just carried himself. You would think he was a giant, but he was just this little old man who, you know, who had no fear of nothing. I'll kill each other. Let's start running on the right way. Come on, Jay. I pull up with the big boy truck, nigga, big boy drop. We be the only big boys that the big boys watch. Sing to him. Yeah, that's the Played sports, basketball, football, you name it. For him to be so small, he held his own. And you know, we got an age difference. I was 18, he was probably all of 
12, 13 years old, but he was able to keep up with the boys my age. So. <laughs> I'll give you his last birthday. Um, he had just made 19, and so he used one of my other brothers' ID to get in the club. And so me and my friends, you know, we was 21, 22 at that time, so we was partying like crazy. We go to the club, he get in, and the way he carried himself, you would have thought that he was in the club every week, but this was his first time there. And you know, there's grown women in this space, and he like, oh, I don't want nothing to do with you. I ain't messing with you, and you know, just pushing them off, and they. They in his face like, like, they like his swag. The Mariano or the Maria. Uh, the money talks the whole world about to hit me up. It's crazy that it was one of my uh, my man's birthday, uh, my homie Mitch. Shout out to Mitch. And uh, if we around, if you see many guys talking about that, that's one of the stories that we gonna say. Like, yo, Frank was in the club, you would have never known he was 19. Like, he was partying. Like, he had been doing it for years. So, that's one of my fondest memories, man. So my pledge to you is this. I will do everything in my power to ensure CPD is better when I leave than it was when I got here. Right. If I can do that, that's a win for CPD, it's a win for you all, and it's a win for the city of Chicago. I'm gonna close with this thought. I went and uh, visited Beasley Elementary School about a month ago. And this little girl was so excited. You wouldn't even think a, a six-year-old would really know what the superintendent was, what they do, or who you are, but she did. And she tugged on me and she said, can I tell you something? I said, sure. So I'm gonna tell you all what she told me so that you can think about this every day when you get up. She said, superintendent, since you came here to our school, I think today I'm gonna dream big. Thank you.